the Neanderthal has actually left traces in the genome of modern humans. The fascinating thing is that we're a mosaic. Our genome is a kind of mosaic. The researchers sequenced five additional genomes. They stem from people from all over the world. The comparison with the Neanderthal genome brought completely unexpected results. The inheritance from the Neanderthal is unevenly distributed across the world. The most astonishing thing was that we find contribution in Europeans and in Asians, but not in Africans. It seems to be something that Europeans and Asians have in common, but which is missing in Africans. Why are the genes scattered so unevenly across the world? The great mystery. How can it be that the Neanderthal has contributed to individuals in parts of the world which were never actually inhabited by Neanderthals? 100,000 to 50,000 years before our time, anatomical modern humans migrate from Africa and encounter Neanderthals in the Middle East. The groups mix. By discovering what we have in common and what makes us different, we are discovering our own history. The, the study showed that uh, this uh, integration of um, genetic material uh, is visible only in, not, in non-Africans, in Asians and, and Europeans, and this is related to the, the way this um, uh, crossing between the two uh, species occurred. Uh, out of the uh, 3.5 billion uh, base pairs, uh, which are the coding of our uh, DNA, only 3% are really what geneticists call genes. But okay. what we know is that we have some genes in modern humans which are different. Jean-Jacques Coublin, let me stop you there because I want to turn to Dimitri Karadimas now. Now, you're an anthropologist, so you're looking at this from a slightly different angle, but how do you think that this discovery could impact the way that we look at ourselves and, and our origins? Yes, I think it's uh, quite interesting, it's fascinating, uh, 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 just because we, uh, we had this idea that uh, we, c we could be uh, a completely pure species, uh, in that, uh, I mean that uh, uh, Homo sapiens uh, could be something uh, completely different from the other uh, uh, hominids that exist. Now, if the result uh, that is bring uh, to us uh, shows that uh, actually for a part of the uh, actual humans, we have uh, some elements coming from the Neanderthal uh, genes, so it will be interesting because cannot uh, 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 go on with the idea that we are a complete pure species. This is a skull of a modern human and this is from a Neanderthal. Look closely and you can see that this one has a slightly longer brain case. Most scientists believe that these are two separate species and there wasn't much interaction between the two. But now we know there was interbreeding and that all non-Africans living today are part Neanderthal. The researchers extracted DNA from Neanderthal fossils and compared it with that taken from people living today. They found that the DNA of Europeans and Asians is Neanderthal. It's a very exciting discovery because it gives us really the first strong evidence that there was interbreeding with people like the Neanderthals. And it means that modern humans in different parts of the world may have slightly different mixes. Research has found that many human beings actually have Neanderthal DNA. In us, many of us anyway, there is new evidence that humans inherited up to 4% of our DNA from Neanderthals. The study in the journal Science is based on painstaking research into three Neanderthal bone fragments. Scientists reconstructed the Neanderthal genetic code and compared it to modern humans from across the globe and found there was up to a 4% match with humans everywhere but from Africa. Despite the old assumption that Neanderthals disappeared from the evolutionary chart... Neanderthals aren't quite extinct. They all live on a little bit in many of us. It's a debate that's engaged scientists for a hundred years or more. What's our link with Neanderthal man and woman? And moreover, did we ever mate? Now the truth is out of the box. According to research released tonight, DNA evidence shows modern humans interbred with Neanderthal.
people like me have argued that there might have been interbreeding in the past, but all trace of it could have disappeared. This shows it didn't disappear, and it's there at a reasonable level. There are at least 70 genes that have been picked up that seem to be unique to the modern human line. Before disappearing from the face of the earth 28,000 years ago, Neanderthals shared a common offspring with Cro-Magnon man. 